Hi, Mike Darda here at Century 21. Welcome back to my blog. And I'm, today we're going to answer a question that I'm getting more now than I have in my 23 year career in selling real estate. With the market starting to get a little bit better, I'm getting this question a lot. And that is, Mike, I'm thinking of selling my property. Should I sell it now or is it better to wait? Maybe I'll get more money if I wait. So to answer that question, it could be yes, depending on your scenario, you want to sell, or it should be no, don't sell right now, depending on your scenario. So let's talk about some of the common scenarios and see which one may fit your personal situation. If you are going to sell a piece of real estate, whether you live in it or not, and you're going to use those proceeds to buy another piece of real estate, it's a no brainer. Definitely you want to sell now. And here's why. Yes, you're going to sell for at a low point in the market, but consider the fact that the market is pretty much in the dumps everywhere in the country. Odds are you're going to get a great deal where you're going and you can enjoy riding the market up into a property you'd either be happier living in or fits your needs better. Also, if you're going to finance that property, considering those low four, four and a half percent rates, that's going to have a much bigger financial savings for you than even waiting for more money on your home because you'll just pay more where you're going. So that's an easy one. But what if it's uh, like so many of our owners here, it's a seasonal residence. Maybe it's a vacation home for yourself. You don't live in it all year long. You use it occasionally. And the answer to that question depends how much do you use it. If you use the property a lot and maybe you don't have a mortgage on it, you got to consider based on how much you spend down here in Florida in terms of your time, would it be cheaper for you to rent or to own this property with all its associated expenses? If, it's, if you live here and you have no mortgage and you're spending a lot of time, it may be cheaper for you to keep this property, don't sell it, than it would be to rent something. If you have high expenses on your property, especially if you have a mortgage, homeowner's fees, etc., cetera, uh, you're gonna probably find, even if you don't, use, especially if you don't use it a lot, that it's better to go ahead and sell because it'll be cheaper to rent than own. Here's a perfect example. This is a condo we just listed in Renaissance in Fort Myers, beautiful golf course community. The owners paid $434,000 for this property back in 2005. Well, welcome to 2011. Today, this property is worth only $225,000. We got it on the market at that price at the moment. So maybe you own this property, you're thinking about whether or not to sell it or keep it as a seasonal residence. Consider that it's going to probably be a huge loser because by the time you figure out your HOA fees, your community fees, your taxes, this property actually costs $15,000 a year to hold. And so that is a lot. That's like what 6% of the value of this property just to hold it. Now you think, well, I'm going to roll the dice and wait and see if the market goes up. Does that make sense? I mean, what's normal appreciation in the country? It's usually what four or 5% a year. Are you really willing to gamble 15,000 a year in hopes that this goes up? Maybe it stays the same. You're still out the 15,000 or more likely, maybe it still depreciates and you're out in two different ways. So, so that property definitely doesn't make sense to hold. Um, it's worse if you've got a mortgage because now you got to look at it and let's say you got a hundred thousand dollar mortgage on this property. Okay. And then that mortgage is costing you maybe uh, $5,000 a year. Now you've got a $20,000 a year holding cost to carry this property. That, when you figure out you only got $125,000 in equity, that's 16% of your equity that you're paying each year just to maintain this. If that property goes down in value, it's going to be even a worse loss than that. So this one definitely is an example that makes more sense to sell. That money, think about what you can do with this equity. Whatever equity you got in your property, is there another place you can invest it that'll get a return? I mean, heck, even a CD at 2% is a better return than spending 15 or 20 grand a year for something you're not using very much uh, and it's depreciating at the same time. Uh, some of my sellers, uh, we have a joke, hey, it's better off to put that money in a coffee can and bury it in the backyard because at least it's not depreciating and that money will be there for maybe a great deal that comes along somewhere else. So I'm telling my sellers in these scenarios, trade in your penny stock and get a blue chip, get that money somewhere else that's going to do better for you. 
One more scenario might be is if you have a rental or an uh, investment property. Whether or not to keep that depends on whether or not it's cash flowing. If the property isn't cash flowing or barely breaking even, you definitely want to sell it. You're just throwing good money after bad in that scenario. It's depreciating, plus it's, you're digging in your pocket every month just to support it. The only time it makes sense to carry is if that property is cash flowing at least $200 or more a month. That way you're building up some money for repairs and the unexpected expenses. If you have a scenario that you want to run past me, if it makes sense to sell or is it better to hold, please give me a call. I'd be glad to answer your questions at 239-542-2822 or email me at mike at dartagroup.com. Thanks for watching.